Hi, I'm Denise Maticus, the Product Manager with Dentatus USA. This video will illustrate the placement of Dentatus and new implants. Narrow implants allow dentists to provide more affordable, less invasive, faster procedures, but only Dentatus offers a screw routine system with prosthetic options for overdentures, single tooth, and full mouth reconstruction. Dentatus and new implants are frequently installed through the tissue without reflecting a flap. That's due in part to the design of the SIPO pilot drills. The ultra-sharp needle point tip eliminates chatter, assuring accuracy for position, angle, and depth. The static piercing of the tissue, in addition to the fluted design, prevents epithelial entrapment and eliminates the need for a tissue punch. The SIPO 1.8 millimeter pilot drill is operated at 13 to 1500 RPM with copious irrigation. The laser etched markings are easy to read while drilling. The upper border of each marking measures 11, 14, and 18 millimeters in the System 2 series, which is generally used for flapless surgeries. The System 1 is for flap procedures, and those markings are 7, 10, and 14 millimeter. In the mandible, Dentatus recommends drilling to full depth. In the maxilla, it's recommended to drill to half depth evaluate the density, and proceed from there. Then, depending on the implant selection, the corresponding drill is used to further enlarge the osteotomy. A new implants are pre-sterilized and have the gingival spacer and carrier driver pre-attached. The carrier driver is used to transfer the implant to the site. It'll automatically disengage once resistance of the bone is met. For initial stability, an installation torque of 40 newton centimeters is recommended. There are several options available to seat the implant. There's the manual driver, the handpiece driver, or the ratchet. The gingival spacer remains on the implant to prevent the crown from locking on. The essential consideration is that the platform is seated at or slightly below the gingival level for optimal aesthetics. With the gingival spacer tightly in place, the resin index platform for temporary crowns is seated on the implant platform. It's attached with the black screw cap driver. The cap plug is inserted into the screw cap to prevent resin from flowing into the access. Then you'll take your polycarbonate crown or crown former and cut a hole in the lingual or occlusal surface. You want to make sure that there's access for that screw cap. AutoCare composite is firmly adapted around the component and into the crown form. And then we clean out the interproximals to make sure that nothing gets locked on. Once the composite is set, the screw cap plug is removed. The screw cap is disassembled. Since it's made out of Delrin, the screw cap itself is non-hygroscopic, so nothing adheres to the material itself. You'll see that the component was picked up into the crown. You can use an analog as a handle and reattach it with the screw cap to finish and polish and fill in any voids. Once it's polished, we reseat it in the mouth and use a white screw cap 
to secure it in place. Take a cotton pellet or implant tape to block out that access hole. Then trim down the screw cap to crown level. Then we can fill that access hole with an off-color resin to reaccess it later to when we go to take the impression.